Welcome to Surprising Europe, the only television series that shows true life of African migrants in Europe. Hi, my name is Kenel. I come from Kenya. I have been living in Europe at least for a decade. From my experience, many brothers and sisters back home in Africa have no idea how we are living over here in Europe. So, over the next few weeks, I'm gonna show you the good and the bad sides of life over here from an African point of view. How may I help you? This series will show you how we try to make our dreams come true in Europe. When business... You saw my car. I never buy a second-hand car. I always buy a new. Or in sports. Oh! I dreamt to come to Europe since I was like 15 years. But also how we struggle for life. How you imagine in Africa, that's not how you will see it here. I'm not going to do this. I won't do it about my dead body. It's against my religion. It's against me as a human. All over Europe, our guest reporters look at strange rituals. Madre mia, oh dear. Get Show us how we can find love. Who's the boss in the house? Oh, she's the boss. <laughs> love, but also hate and hostility. We've had over 140 murders, racist motivated murders, that is. So You'll meet African musicians in Europe, and you'll meet Suna, our special reporter, who brings us a report about his European experiences every week. I told my mother now I'm sleeping in the kitchen, but they don't think, hey, how can somebody in Europe sleep in the kitchen? You are lying. Wow, that's quite a lot, isn't it? So in each and every episode of Surprise in Europe, we bring you a wide range of reports about African migrants all over Europe, documented and undocumented, rich and poor. In this episode, we take you to Malta, where refugee boats arrive day and night, to France, where the customs try to keep migrants out of England. And we have great music from a guy from Cameroon who voices his opinion about surprising Europe in Iraq. We start where all our journeys start, on the African continent. As you know, our desire to leave Africa and head for Europe starts with hope and determination. I want you to hold your passports. I want you to hold your passports. I want you to say, I am cold. Many of us expect Europe to bring us money, freedom, happiness, a better life. So we all want to make that step. According to the newspapers and according to the news on television we are seeing, Europe is so beautiful city. If I'm going to Europe, I know what I'm going to do and there is someone who is ready to give me that kind of, that work that I'm looking for. On s'en fout de tout ce qui va peut nous arriver là-bas, on veut partir. C'est ça. Beaucoup de jeunes de rêver d'aller là-bas pour se faire construire une nouvelle vie pour le demain. À la recherche de l'Eldorado, this is Suna, our special reporter. He worked as a journalist in Kampala, Uganda. Suna was curious to know if life in Europe is really what many Africans expect it to be. He decided to travel to Europe to find out about their real experiences in person. Yeah, I have just seen your poster here and I'm just wondering, is it possible for you to take me to Netherlands? He decides to give it a try. How is he going to do that? Will he find work? A place to live? Follow Suna over the coming weeks in Suna's Europe. 
how do we get to Europe? I came from Kenya to study, so I had a visa. But traveling by plane without a visa is impossible. So many people try other ways, riskier ways. This is a small island of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea. Small boats with refugees and fortune seekers reach the shores of this European island, sometimes on a daily basis. In this way, more than 12,000 immigrants have reached Malta in the past 10 years. Dayo comes from Nigeria. He is one of the lucky ones who made it. But the journey was a traumatic experience for him. This is the boat that uh, the refugees brought to Europe. Yes. And why are they laying here? Um, I think um, it's here for an invident, for journalists like you today. When you came, you came and said it. And if they were not here, how can you believe that we came with this boat? So the government must leave it so that when you come. And what is your boat? This very one is my boat. And what do you remember? Oh, like the way it shakes like this. And <laughs> it's not easy to, I don't, I even don't want to remember on the, on the sea because it's very dangerous. This is Fiarhan from Somalia. He managed to reach Malta years ago and never left. This is my position that when I was sitting for this boat. We are seven days in the sea. We are 29, included of two children, and we lost two passengers on the way. They tried to swim because we lost the motor. When I go back for my memorial, it is hard to remind for the situation that you pass on the risky life. And when you safe again, you feel happy. Dayo is kept in a detention center while they process his request for refugee status. There he kills time with doing simple work. I'm here now for seven months. This is my seventh month. They go through your cases and see why you want to seek an asylum. And I have to stay for four months or five more. In the past 10 years, 9,000 people requested refugee status in Malta. About half of them still live there in detention centers or centers with tents. In my room, we're having 98 people. You know, to stay at a one place for one year is very hard. And because of this kind of frustration, we ourselves do fight ourselves inside because everyone is tired with this kind of detention period. So anything that someone says or do gets you anger. We have to take it easy because we have no choices. We need help from them, so we have to cooperate with them and we have no choices. I doing uh, interpreter on some social uh, surface for uh, open centers for the refugee camp. This is my room. We live uh, two. And here, another two of my friends, they live here. There are eight people they sleep here. Now only three they are asleep. Other they are went out for searching work. We are here in 12 in number in two room. 
I'm working, but the other day he's not working. It's difficult to live for the situation. Here, the roof, we used to wash clothes and handling. Malta is island, and there is a lot of immigrants. If you're not working, it's difficult. It's difficult to live in Malta. Unidentified bodies wash ashore Malta frequently, as well as on many other places along the Mediterranean coastline. Statistics estimate that one out of 100 boat refugees don't survive the trip. To make a voyage on the sea is not easy. It's very hard. I always do hear news, and if when boat comes, maybe the, now the the crew on board will tell you we were 20 on board, but 10 died. We were 30 on board, five died, or uh, they can all die, and it will remain one, only one person. One thing is sure: traveling by boat can be a risky operation. But many people still try. Would you risk your life traveling by boat to Europe? And why? On the website, there are plenty of opportunities to share your opinions, join discussions, or get information. Let us know. So imagine you enter the European mainland by plane or by boat. Basically, once you get to Europe, you need no visa to cross the borders. In the United Kingdom, it's a different case. The French harbour of Calais is the main gateway into Britain for cargo transport over the road. The big lorries and trucks that cross the border seem to be an ideal spot to hide in. Many migrants try to enter the UK this way. But British and French customs work together to prevent illegal migration into England. Anyone who is detected will be sent back. Can you imagine hiding silently between the cargo for days with limited food and water? The customs have modern equipments to do their checks, like carbon dioxide measuring tools. Your breath contains carbon dioxide, so high ratings may cause your detection. Good. I climbed right to the front and checked it, uh, and it's all clear, so we let the driver go. And then they have heartbeat detection equipment that reveals the presence of human beings in the trucks. If the machine gives a red warning, they go into action. Right, we're opening it because the heartbeat machine detected uh, two reds, which means, uh, and then one green, which means we're unsure as to what's inside. Well. You can hold your breath for some time, but to stop the heart from beating? Sometimes people are so hard to find that dogs that are specially trained to smell human presence help the officers locate stowaways in the cargo. Good lad. He will search a vehicle when I tell him to, um, and his indication if there are people present in the back of, uh, the, back of the vehicle, he will uh, freeze and sit and stare at the point where he's getting most amount of scent from the vehicle. At the moment it's on 18, 90, which is uh, twice as high as we'd normally expect in for a lorry. We'll have to open up. detained and processed and then we will hand them to the French police. These stowaways are from Afghanistan. Later that day, they also caught a man from Eritrea. 
all were sent back to where they came from. It's sad after all that they went through. We asked many artists to do some songs for our series. The first one, Scorpio. Here's a fellow hip-hop artist born in Cameroon. And with his lyrics, man, he hit the nail on the head. So you're trying to get out, huh? Well, I can understand why you're trying to get out, bruh. So I ain't trying to say that you got to stay out, but how you fully aware of the struggles ahead of you? you uh, surprise in Europe gaat over uh, Afrikaanse immigranten die uh, willen vertrekken uit Afrika om in Spanje of Nederland terecht te komen voor een betere leven. Ik heb daar een rap over geschreven uh, om aan iedereen uit te leggen van als je hier naartoe komt, Wees wel bewust en voorbereid dat het niet zomaar gelijk bam een goede leven is. Dus van je bent hier en je hebt het gelijk gemaakt. Nee, 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 er zit nog heel veel daar aan wat erbij komt kijken. Je had het al zwaar en nu kom je hier en dan krijg je het misschien nog zwaarder door al die problemen, regels wat op je afkomt. Bye, mama Africa, I'm leaving. I'm gonna cross the sea and I think I'll go reach it. The things I've seen, I couldn't believe it. All my brothers and sisters, they are living a secret. All my people that are living in life. But at the farm, but that's the norm. Before you turn your back and say goodbye. Be informed just before you come. To all my people that are living in life. Scorpio came from Cameroon when he was a seven year old kid. He lived in Holland with his mother and her Dutch husband. But then his mother got divorced. That left him and his mother as undocumented residents in Europe. Africa, I'm an African, no American, so call me Afro African. Why? That's my motherland. Brace your Toen begon de drama eigenlijk. Dan sta je gewoon met z'n tweeën tegenover een hele regering die geen uh, ID-card wil leveren. And no ID in Europe means that you don't exist. En als je niet exist, you je niet find official work. Ja, hoe moet je dan mee gaan komen? Hoe moet je dan voor je twee kinderen zorgen? Hoe moet je dan eten op tafel leggen? En, en zwart werken, dat, 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 dat gaat niet lang mee. Dat, na, na een tijdje stopt het. Even kijken, kom ga even naar de kleedkamer boven. Of, dit is leuk, maar ja, kijk de onderkant. Oh, ja, ja, ja. Ik zag ook, ik dacht, hé, hey, maar nee. Ik denk dat Muziek betekent heel veel voor mij. Als je leven een beetje raar loopt, dan wil je soms gewoon je verhaal kwijtraken en niet per se persoonlijk aan iemand vertellen. Gewoon meer dan tien jaar illegaal geleefd. Dus ze verpesten je leven gewoon. Ze laten gewoon jaren, jaren voorbij schieten waarin je gewoon niks, niks van je toekomst kan maken. Dat, 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 dat hun moeten gestraft worden, vind ik. Dat, dat zijn criminele activiteiten. Is je voor Scorpio? Is voor de people? Als je niets hebt, je moet alles zwart doen. Je moet oppassen voor de politie. Creatieve manieren vinden om aan je geld te komen. En en het is moeilijk om te overleven. En dus, dus wees voorbereid. Je, je, je kan komen. Neem je kans als je kan komen. Maar wees voorbereid en, en, en plan iets uit of zo. That was Scorpio. Find a complete video clip on the website. Let us know what you think about it. Scorpio has also his own blog. There, we can get in touch with him. Throughout the series, 
you will follow our special reporter Suna. He moved to Europe to experience the life of the undocumented migrants in Europe. Let's have a look at his first report here in Amsterdam. Soon I arrived in Amsterdam on New Year's Eve. The fireworks were the biggest he had ever seen. The people seemed so friendly. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Was this a sign that his new life would be full of splendor and prosperity? As a journalist, Suna decided to research true life of African migrants in Europe. But he knows he has to settle down first. But that turned out not to be easy at all. Suna saw more than 10 apartments, all far too expensive. Since he was staying in a hotel, money was quickly running out. Then, he met a Dutch couple who showed him an apartment somewhere in the outskirts of the city. Yeah, they, they closed all the windows with screws. Oh, really sealed? Yes, yeah. somehow. Of here, really look at afraid of uh, people coming in. It's here, okay. here's it broken. Okay. Yeah, but it is, it is not no well, it takes a while. And it comes. Then it comes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think yeah. it will be uh, all together around 200. 200. Yeah. So if you share it, it's 100 for each. Okay. 200 euros? That's a lot for such a place. Soon I decided to turn the offer down. He was really starting to feel bad. Finally, he finds a basement in the city center. It's small, but it's cheap. So, I think now I have a new lamp. I told my mother now I'm sleeping in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm sleeping in the kitchen. But they don't think, hey, how can somebody in Europe sleep in the kitchen? You are lying. You don't want to help. You understand? Mama gamba chewaka. He calls his family back home to let them know. And sure enough, his sister is already wanting him to send her some things. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> so you see, she's my sister. She wants shoes. She wants a telephone. She wants also trousers. <laughs> so a lot of expectations back home. Suna urgently needs a job. In the next episode of Surprising Europe, you'll see whether Suna can find work as an undocumented migrant. And you'll meet Africans who share their dreams with us. I told myself I will not be in this situation forever. I must find something better to do. The reason why I chose international business and management is because of the international environment. I can work in any organization, anywhere in the world. If you can't wait, check out the website. You can watch this episode there. Feel free to leave a message. Share your thoughts and feelings with other Africans. Use a webcam if you have one and leave a clip on the website. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Surprising Europe. We have a kind of social life in Africa that is not existing in Europe. Pourquoi un Africain ne peut pas aller en Europe et être libre? Why we can't live like Europeans? Why? That is the question.